Agrochemicals are chemical products used in agriculture to protect plants from pests and improve their growth. They include pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, nematicides, and fertilizers. These agrochemicals are toxic to both humans and pests, therefore extra precaution must be taken when purchasing, transporting, handling, storing, and disposing them. Agrochemicals should always be purchased at an accredited source with a PCPB license. When purchasing, always remember to check the expiry date, manufacturing date, and the mixing ratio. How do I put on my protective gear? Which one comes first? So to put on my protective gear, I need to start systematically. So, I start off with the overall. After putting on the overall, then I put on gumboots, then the goggles, I put on the mask. After putting on the mask, I put on the headgear and finally my gloves. While wearing my gum boots, I make sure the overall is over the gum boots to avoid chemical dripping into my legs. Same with when I'm wearing my gloves, I make sure that the gloves are worn under the sleeves. Then I am ready to mix my chemicals. Different formulations are done differently. There are those which are in liquid form. If I'm going to mix in liquid form, extra care needs to be taken because it's very easy for spillage on my skin. So what I need to do, I need to put everything ready, the water, the measuring uh, jar that I'm going to use. I, I need to put aside the spillage kit. Under the spillage kit, I need a small bucket. I need soil or sawdust or sand, I need a brush and I need a broom for spillage kit. This should be on standby as I do my mixing. Now, in the process of doing the liquid formulation, I take my knapsack and put one third of water into the knapsack the reason I'm putting water first is because I'm avoiding the concentrated chemical getting into the outlet. Because if I put the chemical first and it gets into the outlet, the moment I start spraying, I will cause damage to the target of spray. So after putting the water, I measure the recommended quantity, making sure I do not underdose or overdose. Then I add into the knapsack, then agitate the knapsack. After agitating the knapsack, I triple rinse the measuring jar and empty into the knapsack. After triple rinsing and emptying into the knapsack, I fill up the remaining part with the water, agitate, then now I am ready to spray.